Hi, I just want to give you a brief introduction to how the first assignment for uh, the Reddit activity is going to work. Uh, so here we go. We'll jump right so in. Here we are at reddit.com, a website that builds itself as the front page of the internet. I, as a user, have subscribed to a few different subreddits, but the one that I'm interested in talking about today is the PET130 subreddit. So if I move up here to my subreddits, I hit the drop down arrow and select the from the alphabetical list PET130, then I will see that there is exactly at this time one post and it's called hint. It's called Reddit because when you are done with a post, you've read it. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is show you how to submit a new post because that's something that I'm going to ask for you to do. And so it might be helpful for me to show you how to move around a little bit through uh, the Reddit interface. So I found an article that I want to share with you. Uh, maybe I'm in the class and so I want to share this as part of my assigned uh, module one assignment wherein we have to share and discuss uh, links and articles about careers in the oil and gas field. So I read an article. I thought it was pretty interesting. I want to share it with my classmates. So what I will do is click on submit a new link in the upper right corner. I'll post the URL right here. I don't much like this title, so I'm going to put my own title in. How about five tips for getting on the rig? Notice that this is different than the title from the actual article. Pay attention to this five tips for getting on the rig because we'll see that again and I want you to understand how all these different pieces fit together. I've chosen to submit this to the PET 130 subreddit and that's all that I need to worry about. So I'm gonna click submit. Look at this, five tips for getting on the rig. So that title which I gave is what shows up here. Right. Now if I go back to the PET 130 subreddit, I see that there are now two articles or two links. This first one had existed previously, and now there's this new one. So it looks like as things get added, they get added to the top of the list and older articles are pushed toward the bottom. If I click this link, it takes me to the actual content, the original content that I posted. If I click the picture, it takes me to the original content that I posted. If I want to comment on this after I've read it, I'll click on comment and say something like, wow, Lee, what a great post. Okay, and there is my comment. Now, unfortunately, that's not a really meaningful or helpful post, so that might earn a down vote. Right? But if I said something like these are great tips, I will use them and report back my success from the interview next week and save that. Well, that may actually have some value. That post contributes to the conversation because someone else could then come along and reply to this. Oh, where are you interviewing? Right? And so now we have a conversation happening. Notice that this reply is uh, indented and part of this parent comment. So this might have some value, so we could choose to upvote that. Okay, now this is me having a conversation with myself. This is not all that interesting. What we're looking for is for you to have a conversation with your classmates uh, and uh, engage one another, have a discussion. Be sure to upvote quality posts or replies, not merely the ones that you happen to agree with. There will be opinions shared 
And just because you agree with someone doesn't mean that you should upvote their post. And just because you disagree doesn't mean you should downvote their post. We should strive to upvote high quality posts, those which foster conversation, and choose to downvote uh, low quality posts, those that don't necessarily contribute to the conversation at hand. All right. Thanks so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you have to say.